second chapter of Mark. That's almost close to the back of the Bible. Where it's about as thick as a piece of bread. Mark 2. That is bread. The Bible is the Lord's bread. Chapter 2, when you get to it, say amen. amen. We're going to start the first verse together. And um, this, is, this is what our sermon text is based upon last week as we're in this sermon series trying to find Jesus. You know, Jesus is in the house. Say, Jesus in the house. When he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. Say home. It was important that Jesus came home. In this text, you see, Jesus came home. He's been out. He's been busy for a long time. So he came home. You know how it is when you got a friend been missing, out working, mom and dad, friend, relative. When they come home from the, from the war, military, you're glad they're home. So they were excited that Jesus was home. So many gathered around, and there was no longer room for them, not even in the front of the door. He was speaking the word to them. Then some people came bringing to him a paralyzed man carried by four of them. Say four. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And after having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts, why does this fellow speak this way? Is it blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. In other words, they were gossiping. And he said to them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic? Your sins are forgiven? Or say, Stand up and take your mat and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, stand up, take your mat, and go to your home. And he stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before all of them so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, we've never seen anything like this. Mm. May God's blessing be upon the reading. Amen. <laughs> 